Hi guys, and welcome back to uh, Easy Cooking the New Zealand Way. It's been a while, but today I've decided to uh, quickly whip up some pickled power. That's our malt vinegar and our dry ingredients that we'll add to the end. Let's get into it. So, here we've got the vinegar starting to boil, so what we want to do is boil the power in that for, a, for about 15 minutes. Just turn it down a bit. We've got three quarters of a cup of vinegar and we've got about a cup of power here. Just um, diced. You can mince it, it's up to you. Uh, I, like, I like it thick and chunky, but some people like it minced. But I like to... Also what you can do is half and half. Half, half and diced like that and half minced. We just want to boil that for 15 minutes in that. You'll see the recipe list down below in the comments. Okay, let that come back up to boil and we'll come back once that's been boiling for 15 minutes. Alrighty, so now we're back. We've had it boiling for 15 minutes. As you can see by the pot maybe, boiled up a bit high. But that's, that part was now softened completely. You can just push a fork into it. So it's like it's like cooked potatoes. Um, so now we add our dry ingredients, which we've got here, which is uh, we've got mustard, um, brown sugar, ground cumin, flour, and curry powder. Um, the volumes will be in the comments below, uh, in the description below. But I have downsized this recipe just to make a quick um, quick batch for you guys now. So we just add that in. The brown sugar is one lump. Very, very simple to make this. So just, just put it on. So we're just going to get that mixed in. Mind the fork squeaking on the pot. Get that all mixed in so there's no lumps. The flour will help it uh, set just because power doesn't have that much um, natural fat or gelatine in it. And so we let that go for another 10 minutes. Simple. Look at that. So there we go. Now we'll just let that simmer. Bring it down to a simmer. We'll have that go for another 10 minutes and we will be back. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been going for another 10 or so minutes. As you can see it's completely changed its consistency now. So now what we want to do, turn it off and bottle it. Now I've got these nice little peanut butter jars. Um, I should take the label off one day but so what we want to do is we want to put it into the jar. Now I've got this ice cream scoop here, just to help. Look at that goodness. So the real great thing about this is that, you know, we've hit summertime here in Taranaki, in New Zealand. And we get some good opportunities to go out diving. So at the moment it's raining today, meant to be going out this afternoon but probably won't. I got these yesterday and I thought, well if I'm going out again this week, why freeze them? You know, a lot of people freeze them, um, which is usually the common thing to do, but even that there's a law on how many you can freeze and keep stored. So I thought, why don't I pickle some? And then at least come winter time, I've got some nice power just sitting in my cupboard. This isn't going to fill the jar like it's meant to. As you can see, not quite a jar full. Kind of learning this house as well, we've just kind of moved here, so this is a new kitchen for me. Put 
that down. I'm gonna try to get all the I'm gonna try and get all of that beer out. Mind that obnoxious noise. I had another empty one ready. I don't want to put the lid on. Oops, sorry. Usually, usually if you fill it up, you put the lid on and the lid will, as it cools down, the, that will suck in. But we want to let that cool down and set. And uh, have it on toast. Have it on whatever. Add it, add it to meals. It's simple. We just turn some flour. Into some pickled power, and that, since it didn't fill the jar, isn't going to last a long time. So I'm going to have to eat it once it cools down. But brilliant on crackers with cheese. What else? Just about anything you could add it. Put it on your steak. Oh, yum! The the the, the options are endless now. It's no longer just cream power or no longer just power minced power or power is finely sliced and sautéed it's now a, a dish that you can it's now something that you can add to any dish that you choose to so go out and get yourself some power if you can't get someone else to go get you some power and pickle it and save it for winter or pickle it and have it on summer salads it's completely up to you so if you did like that give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe so that you're constantly updated with our recipes. But until next time, keep safe, keep cooking.